What can you say about a multi-millionaire who's your Prime Minister? He wasn't really voted in any way. Uh, everything he said has been pretty much a lie. They haven't been running the country well since Thatcher, to be honest with you. He doesn't care about normal people, very entitled, looking after his best billionaire mates. They're out of ideas, aren't they? It's just dregs left in the barrel. No Tories care about Liverpool. The fact that we're still putting up with all this rubbish is amazing. What do you make of Rishi Sunak? Not a lot. What can you say about a multi-millionaire who's your Prime Minister and says that he understands what's going on in the country with the normal working man? He's got no idea at all. Do you think he cares about Liverpool? No. No Tories care about Liverpool. Mm -hmm. I think the only Tory who ever did was Heseltine. And uh, I can't think of anyone else who does. What a bunch of law-breaking, rotten, nasty rascals. Do you think Rishi Sunak is running the country well? No, they haven't been running the country well since Thatcher, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, it's all neoliberalism, which is, well, they've ruined the economy. Trust, trust crashed the economy and it was pretty bad before she crashed it. So can I ask you your impression of Rishi Sunak? My impression of him, did you yes. say? Um, doesn't care about normal people, I guess. Very entitled. Um, and looking after his best billionaire mates, is what I'd say. Do you think he's looking after young people? <laughs> no, definitely not. I don't think he cares about young people. Are you trying to get on the housing ladder at the moment? Um, no, we're renting. We're happy renting at the minute, but I wouldn't try and get on the housing ladder at the minute. Um, and I couldn't, to be fair, either. Will you be voting Tory next election? No, definitely not. I just think his views as a whole, he changes his mind too quickly. And I think he attacks certain groups of people without any backing, any research. And then I think goes back on it when it's most convenient for him. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's sort of an easy way out for him to go for trans people rather than...? Definitely, and women of colour especially. Mm -hmm. I think he attacks people and feels fine about it only until he's caught, and then he goes back on it and retracts his statements quite quickly. I think when he goes for the older majority of people, he delivers on promises that aren't really relevant to the UK, if that's a good way to phrase yeah. it. I think the, the things that he promises are very empty. And I think he needs to directly reach people of all age to try and help. I don't like him, to be honest. Um, obviously, he wasn't really voted in any way. Uh, everything he said has been pretty much a lie. Uh, it's very reactionary from the Tory party. Everything they've done recently is very reactionary, but without any kind of follow through to fix anything. Do you think the Tories go down well in Liverpool? Definitely not, and they never will. Why is that? Um, after the way they've treated us, really, this, this city kind of really... Um, suffered under the, the last Tory government and also we had a lot of funding from the EU so all of L1, a lot of the charities got a lot of money from the EU and that's all stopped now, there's a lot of charities that are suffering for it because the EU, EU money's gone. What's your overall impressions of the Conservatives then? Do you think they've dealt with the cost of living crisis well? Absolutely not. It was them who put us in this mess, you know, a succession of Prime Ministers and then the Liz Trust debacle with Quarteng crashed the economy and we're picking up the pieces. I think, you know, it's, they're out of ideas, aren't they? It's just dregs left in the barrel, yeah. They've got a lot to show for it? No, I mean, the country's, well, look, look around you, that's what they've got to show for it, I think, yeah. What do you make of how they've handled the cost of living crisis? Um, well, I don't actually live in the UK anymore. I moved out to Germany. And I think if you just contrast it with the European approach, I think people here are poorer, uh, they're unhealthier, and I think that's just quite obvious if you, if you go abroad, you know. So that's been your view from Germany? Yeah, and I think it's a very European view. It's come here, the, I think the poverty and yeah, the problems people are having are very apparent, yeah. Rishi Sunak's telling us that the economy is growing, that people are doing better. Do you not think that's the reality? No, because Rishi Sunak's a lying rascal. As I, I, I'm trying definitely not to swear. He's a lying rascal. Um, you know, it goes back to um, early Labour when they said, you know, you've got people saying that, that actually the whole purpose of the Tory party is to persuade poor people that they had, that the rich people have their interests at heart, which they never have done, they never will do. Mm -hmm. So, and it's spin, it's always been spin. And for some reason, vast swathes of the British public fall for it. They should have been kicked out years ago. And the fact that we're still putting up with all this rubbish is amazing. What do you think it says about the country if they're willing to put up with it? There's a level of apathy about that means they can get... How people can do what they're doing and still not being held accountable is beyond me.
So they are in this city. I feel we're quite aware of, my friends seem to be aware of what's going on, but the fact that they keep getting voted in is unbelievable. Do you think they'll get in at the next election? There's a possibility. There's no opposition at the moment. If we've got no policies going forward, I'm talking about the Labour Party rather than any left-wing stance. It, Blair thought he didn't have any policies and got in. So I, I think Starmer's thinking the same thing. I think they're a complete waste of time. But having said that, <clears throat> I have to say that the Labour Party is also a complete waste of time. My advice is do not vote for any party anymore because none of them have the, um, the interests of um, the ordinary man and woman in the street. None of them. The, um, the Labour movement, which I, I support, has been destroyed thoroughly by people like Starmer and, and uh, the media. They've destroyed the Labour movement so that the Labour Party now, led by Starmer, it's, um, it's just a... It's just another version of um, conservatism. In other words, none of them, none of them are looking out for um, the ordinary man and the woman in the street. I was a staunch Labour uh, and a staunch saying unionist many years ago. I was even a brand second said in my own union. But uh, since Tony Blair sold his house in the Iraq war and made himself millions and killed over a million Iraqis, no, sorry. You know, you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be uh, clever or sensible to see that. You know, the man's a millionaire now. What can you do? Yeah. What do you think, who do you think you'll vote for then, come next yeah. election? I don't vote for anybody. What can any of them do for me? What can any of them do for the young people of this country? Nothing. So what do you do? You, you, you put into a situation where whoever you vote for, they're all as bad as each other. They all get in. And they're all blaming each other for the past. You know, we've got the Conservatives now blaming the deaths on the, on the Labour governments. Then the Labour government get them blaming on the Conservative government. So it's just a never ending circle of disaster, isn't it? How does it make you feel when you hear, I mean, either party talking about not wanting to tax the rich in case they leave? Um, obviously, it's disgusting. It's, um, you, you see it all the time in the last five years, six years, homelessness has increased massively already. Um, you know, like I say, with the EU funding going, there's a lot of places that are really going to suffer for it. And I can't see that helping enough. You see, Keir Starmer, I mean, we've always been Labour supporters, but he doesn't make it easy sometimes. Mm. Well, we just, but yeah. <laughs> what do you make of Keir Starmer then? I mean, like, I understand obviously Tony Blair had to adapt certain ways. Um, obviously, we've seen politics change massively over the last few years, but here in America, internationally. Um, and so it sees playing for the middle ground, but a lot of his answers don't really answer anything. It's going to be hard for live, people in Liverpool to vote for Labour next year. People I know certainly will find it that way. Um, what is he going to do? It's, it's, it's very difficult and there's kind of hoping that when, if he does come into power then obviously some things do change but yeah he makes it very difficult for us. From where you are, do, does Britain look like it's in sort of a state of managed decline? I don't think there's anything managed about it, yeah. It's just, it's just a train wreck, isn't it? Yeah. I think they've given up managing it. Services are all reduced. Nobody, nobody cleans the streets anymore. The whole <clears throat> political system is broken. And my advice is, do not vote for any party at all. All those, all these other parties as well. They're just, they're just, they're just more or less the same. So. You, whatever you vote for, you're, you're voting for. Um, <clears throat> you're voting for more severe austerity, and and nothing good.